Welcome back to my channel and thank you for my baby Myrna. So in today's video, I will be making homemade guacamole. And I chose to make this recipe because I'm just trying to clean out our drawer with all our produce in it. And I had all the ingredients, so I didn't have to go to the store for none of this. We ha have everything here. I will get back to you and show you all the ingredients. So I'll be using green onions, lime, lemon, tomatoes, purple onions or white onions if you have white onion, and cilantro. So I got these avocados from my mom's co-worker. She has an avocado tree and I'm going to be using these before they go bad. Okay, so I'm going to start cutting the avocados and everything is, I already rinsed all my veggies. Um, before I even started recording, I rinsed all of it, so I don't have to worry about that. And I, yes, I washed my hands. And Charlie's gonna make this paint really stand out. These are really good avocados. Shout out to my mom's co worker. And did you know it takes up to four years to actually see? Your avocados growing. Damn. I'm gonna just dump them all in this bowl. And I made slices. I sliced it diagonal and then I sliced it horizontal. But I kind of want my. I kind of want my um, avocados big I like chunky guac I don't like smooth guac and I feel like my family doesn't like smooth guac either we like chunky we like them chunky no, I'm chunky Grabbing it, putting it all in here. However many avocados fit in here, that's how many I'm gonna put in. If I don't fit in all the avocados, I'm gonna just save it for breakfast or something. Make some avocado toast with some bacon, and tomatoes. I love avocado with my eggs. You know, growing up, I never really liked eggs. I know, crazy. Like, I just started eating eggs as I got older. I used to tell my um, mom that I was allergic, so I didn't have to eat it. And I got away with it because I'm, like, almost allergic to, I feel like, everything, so. Making diagonal lines and going horizontal. Grabbing my spoon and scooping it all out. This is how you take the seed out. Boom. I watch so many YouTube videos and they like struggle taking the seed out. It's like, girl, you don't stab the thing a little bit. But you want to keep the seed because you want to put it in after. So it'll keep your guacamole green and not turn brown. But also the lemon and lime helps it not turn either. So I'm going to take all these out and be right back. This is all my avocados. This is five avocados. I still have some left, but I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna just save them for breakfast. Remember, don't forget, have your bag with your trash in it so you don't make a mess while you're making your stuff. I'm gonna throw in 
two of the seeds just to keep it keep it as green as possible while we're cutting up the rest of the stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my tomatoes. Let me put that to the side. I'll be right back. So I'm just cutting my tomatoes like this, taking out this part because I don't know, it's just looks wise, I don't like this. So let me take out the core there. my scraps in my bag and I don't want big slices of tomato big chunks of tomatoes in there I try to keep all my veggies kind of small so you can get it in every bite you know I'm happy that I've seen these avocados because my mom puts a towel over them so they can get ripe quicker. But I wasn't even paying attention that we had all the ingredients to make guac until I was looking in the, the fridge this morning. So I didn't even have to go to the store for nothing. And we got tortilla chips from when we had tacos. So I'm just cutting them. Diagonal first and then horizontal after. Grab my bowl. Throw these in there. And we might just need half of a tomato. Okay, now I'm gonna get my onion. And I'm actually gonna cut this this way. Red onion always bring that that flavor. I try to keep as much peel on as possible. Other people be taking off the whole peel. No, I don't like wasting that whole peel. Okay, and I'm gonna make cuts because I'm trying to dice this onion. So after I made dices like this, I'm gonna come right here and go. That's good, you feel better. <laughs> no, don't say sorry to me. Sorry, people. It's all good. After I do that, I'm just going to go down and start dicing.
probably just to cook with. Line these up. You want to make them small, remember, because when you eat your guac, you want to taste every bite of your veggies. You want it in every scoop of your tortilla chips. Looks like good enough for a lot. And I eyeball all of these ingredients. I don't have, I don't measure. That's one thing I don't do. It's really hard for me to measure. I just feel like I do what I, I do it by taste. Oh, it smells so good. Chopping cilantro make ooh, that aroma. Yes, I keep in all the stems. Trust me, when you're eating it, you will not taste no stems. You will just taste straight cilantro. Okay, let me go rinse my hands real quick. Now it's time to start cutting my lemons and my limes. Yes, all of this is washed. No worries. Okay, I'll be right back after I take these seeds out. Okay, so I just took the seeds out from these lemons. Sometimes I can't get all the seeds out, so I just have to work with it like that and take it out as I go. But I'm just grabbing my fork, just like how in my taco, chicken taco recipe, I'm grabbing my fork and just stabbing it in there and twisting. Sorry, I'm trying to take all these seeds out. I don't want nobody biting into a seed. And this is um, three full lemon. My mom, she always made sure we ate our veggies. It was just one of my brothers. No, he did not like vegetables. I wonder if, I think he likes it now though. But growing up, we would all eat our food. He's the only one that still got his veggies on his plate. But our Auntie Myrna, um, that's who I'm named by. She would force us to eat our veggies. 
But I'm thankful she did because now we all love veggies. Oh, speaking of God, y'all like my shirt? God is dope. I link um, the link in the description box below. I got this one, and I have a, um, a different color too. I love their colorways, and I like their message behind the behind their organization or behind their business. It's a Christian based business. If you're wondering why I didn't mix it, because I like mixing at the end. I just like incorporating all the ingredients so I know what I need, you know? I like mixing it and then tasting it and then seeing what it means. That's how I cook. but to each his own. If you make it a different way, go ahead, follow your steps. There's no right way to cook. That's one thing I love about cooking. It's um, it's just you being creative, you know? Trying out different flavors. And there's really no like measurement you have to go by. It's all to your liking. That's why I don't bake. Because baking, requires measuring and I'm not a good measure person <laughs> you I said I look at one third I'm like one third I know an eighth I know a quarter I know a half but other than that I don't know <laughs> all right let me just get to mixing Red onions and some more cilantro. Actually, I could actually add more of everything. Like I said, it to each his own. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and smash. I'm just making the avocados a little less chunky. I don't. Don't get me wrong, I love chunky, chunky guac. I feel like that's good enough. I'm not gonna make it too chunky. I'm gonna make it too mushy. Okay, let me go ahead and give it a taste. We got Miss Juanita's tortilla chips back in the house. I told y'all, this is my favorite tortilla chips. I got these at Food Max. And we're gonna see how it tastes with this. What you got, Mom? Mmm. That's good. I'm gonna side go tomorrow. But I'm gonna add more. Um, more lime, because I like that citrus taste. Let me get this, is it? Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rest of these tomatoes. Oh, I like that. Because I took, oh, if you hear a little voice, it's my nephew, Miles. Say hi, Miles. Hi. <laughs> Okay, okay. And like I said, I like chunky, a chunky uh, guacamole. Chunky! 
Long ride cry? I thought that's cry. Cry? What are you talking about? No, oh, say, my dad take me and then he make me cry. Boy, if you don't get... Go ahead and add the rest of these green onions. the rest of these onions. Oh, I like onions. Well, my looks good. Cut my feet. I don't like onions, don't cut my feet. Why would I cut your feet? No, I can't cut them. Okay, okay, say, suck, 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 suck. See, I did not bleed. Boy, I am calm. <laughs> Miles is a character if you didn't know. No, I'm a boy. <laughs> I know you're a boy. Then you're a girl. Yeah. And then I'm a boy. And then... What's the game? What are you called? Why not? Okay. And then it's done. And then put it away. <laughs> It's not done, not yet. So what? I just added in the rest. Oh. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in probably two more lemon or two more limes. I like this consistency, it's not too runny and it's not too chunky but to each his own whatever you like go ahead and add let me see let me see if that uh oh that is good If you didn't know, I have a, um, a hair business, Myrna's Muse. This is one of my services I offer. I, I do my extended kids. braided ponytails. I, and I, like my, I like my braided ponytails going past my um, my oh. waist. So if you want to book your appointment and you're in the Bay Area, tap in. I feel like this was a good hairstyle because like I told y'all, when you're cooking, you have to put your hair up. It's like a number one thing. Put your hair up while you're in the kitchen. Have my hair back. I, I, yeah. I Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that bell notification on so you get notified every time I post a new video. And y'all be smooth now.